Next tonight, a secret inside the modern American family. Almost every parent has at one time or another yelled at a difficult child. And tonight, there is a new study giving insight into what that can do to everyone when an adult starts yelling. Nightline anchor Cynthia McFadden now with advice for the whole family. Who can say they've never yelled at their kids, especially their teenagers? A problem the super nanny was often brought in to deal with. You don't tell me anything. You do what I tell you to do and you shut your damn mouth about it. And it's not just reality TV. I've been having problems with my daughter. The dads at this father's group in Keensburg, New Jersey, part of Parents Anonymous, were honest enough to admit it. How many of you have ever yelled at your child? <laughs> <laughs> but a new study contends even in otherwise loving homes, yelling, especially when it's mixed with name calling and insults, can cause the same problem for young teenagers as hitting them depression, anxiety, and low self esteem. We are New Age Brady Bunch. <laughs> the Johnson Tuggy clan in Cleveland say they don't curse or use put downs but they are a little worried about how much yelling goes on. I'm a yeller. I, I yell out of frustration. Like, hey, grab their attention. This is not cool. But experts say yelling often doesn't work. Listen to their kids. Sometimes when I get yelled at, I get angry, go downstairs and start hitting my punching bag or I, get, I feel sad. I just wish I could get talked to, not necessarily yelled at. We brought in parenting expert Dr. Carolyn Ivers Landis. Hi. Hi. One strategy Hi. she suggests is for parents to give That's themselves great. a time out. Having the other parent who's maybe not pushed to the limit as much maybe step in a little bit. I don't think any parent would ever object to having a break. Another tip use more carrot, less stick. You want them to get ready for school faster? Promise a movie. I think there's some things that they could earn, like, that camera that he wants so bad. Right. Learning to negotiate and keep your cool can make the teen years so much less stressful for everyone. Bye. Or as my mother used to say in a very quiet voice, when you've lost your temper, you've lost your argument. Diane? You're a great mother, but what if you've done it? What if you've already done it? What are you going to do? Well, you know, I love this advice from parenting experts who say, don't be afraid to apologize to your kids. You don't lose authority. You actually gain credibility. Parents are people, too. And if you, you apologize, they'll know that apologizing is something we do in our family. So admit it, apologize. Fess up. Okay, thank you so much, Cynthia McFadden. Good to have you here.